Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com where we discuss about the process manifold learning for object tracking with multiple non-linear models. Let us discuss about the abstract of the process manifold learning for object tracking with multiple non-linear models. Tracking of the targets in the video has many applications in surveillance process. The persons or vehicles in the video can be tracked using mean shift tracking process. The selected persons in the video is tracked all over the frames in the video. The positions of the selected targets in the video were trained previously in each frames and the tar position of the targets in each frames were identified with the correct video. Based on the identified new target positions, the target positions were updated so that the target is tracked all over the frame. The input video is converted into frames. The frames were then filtered using median filter. The target is selected by the user in the current frame. The selected target position is obtained. The position of the target in each frame were identified using mean shift tracking. The mean shift tracking process updates the target position by calculating the position using the prediction function. The prediction function predicts the target's position by calculating the weightage of each position updated. From the obtained target position, a rectangle is drawn around the target in the video. The performance of the process is measured by calculating the precision and recall of the tracking process. Let us see the flow of the process. Initially, the video is converted into frames. The noises in the frames reduces the quality of the frames. Each frames in the video is considered as images. In order to improve the quality of the images, we normally employ some filtering operations. Median filter is used for filtering. The median filter considers each pixel in the image in turn and looks at its nearby neighbors to decide whether it is or not a representative of its surrounding. The identified noisy pixels is replaced by the median of the neighboring pixel values. The median is calculated by first sorting all the pixel values from the surrounding neighborhood into numerical order and replacing the pixel being considered with the middle pixel. From the pre-processed frames, targets were then selected. From any one of the video frames, the target that is to be tracked is selected. The position of the target is the input for the kernel functions that were used below. The target is tracked all over the video with the help of the estimated positions calculated using multiple kernels. The selected target is then learned and predicted. The position of the target is updated by multiple kernel process. For the initial selected target, 4 to 5 positions were taken and the positions were estimated. The positions of the target in the next frames were then estimated by using kernel functions. The predicted positions were then updated if updation process is needed. The updated process arranges the predicted values in a or the updation process is estimated using projected gradient algorithm and the values were again estimated. The process is repeated for all the frames in the 
video. Finally, a rectangle is drawn around the selected identified target portions and the video selected target is tracked all over the video. Finally, the performance of the process is measured by analyzing the proficient ratio, accuracy and the error rate of the overall process. Thus, we are modifying the manifold learning method with the help of mean shift tracking in order to select the selected targets all over the video. Let me see the running procedure of the process. Then select the file main.m in order to run the code. The code contains the user interfaces and other sub functions needed to run the code and we have we have developed it in MATLAB 2009 version and the max compiler has to be present in order to run the code that is the visual C++ compiler has to be present since we are using some max files for compilation and running process and we have developed the code for mean shift tracking select the file main.m right click it and click on run file you will get the user interface to run the program give any one of the video that is given as the input so in this video only we have given tracking five selected persons so we will select uh, this video and the video will be loaded and it will be displayed here the process is started for the next process will be the frame conversion now the video is loaded and it is running after that the frame conversion process is done here the video is converted into number of frames and it will be right in there in the folder frames after that we select any one of the target which is present in the video now for example we are selecting target one means the regions will be extracted and after that the tracking procedure can be started so when we start the learning procedure the learning is started as we can see while the updation is needed in the frames regarding the object's position the update will be displayed and the other frames were remaining as it is so this process will continue for all the frames present in the video now we have learned the uh, positions in all the frames of the video and uh, now we can move on to the tracking process as we start the tracking process the object that is selected as uh, is tracked all over the video frame so as we can see the selected first object is tracked completely all over the video the tracking process will continue if the object does not go beyond the frame then we measure the performance of the process the performance of the process is measured by calculating the mainly precision recall accuracy and the error rate and the graphs were obtained for the results so as we can this is the values for distance and velocity for the selected target in each frame then it is represented in a graphical form then the performance measures precision recall accuracy and error rate were all measured so these performance measures proves the efficiency of our process the obtained precision and recall were represented in the graphical format and as we can see the process has been increased comparing to the existing method and then we finally measure the success rate and the accuracy so as we can see all this for this also the performance has been increased comparing to the existing method thus we are providing a selected object tracking system that identifies the objects in the video with greater accuracy